Hey gang, Scott here. One of the new filters in Photo Raw 2025 is the Edit Color Filter. This gives you immense control over color in your photos. I'll explain the controls and this filter in this video. Uh, before I do, real quick, if you're adding on one to your toolkit, thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2025, check the show notes. I have an offer code there that can save you some money, won't cost you anything extra, give me a little support so I can do more videos like this. So edit color, you know, uh, why this new filter? Uh, you know, we've had color controls. We had the color enhancer and we have uh, the color adjustment. You know, why edit color? Uh, well, more precision is the answer. The predecessor tools worked with like, you know, color channels, right? You had your red, your orange, your yellow, and so forth. And you could adjust hue, saturation, luminance. You could do some things with, uh, you know, color range masks to try to select things. Well, now you have another tool that gives you some uh, very, very strong <laughs> precision. And I want to run down the controls of this tool and then show you uh, an example of it in action. So let's dive in. The Edit Color Filter is in the Effects tab when you're in the Edit module. We'll click Add Filter and choose Edit Color. There are several different options. Uh, some are common, you know, things we have in all of our filters. We have masking. We have an opacity slider. There are some built-in styles for different uh, targeted uh, color ranges. But then the Color Editor. This is really where all of the, the magic happens. And so we have this color wheel. You have a picker for sampling colors. We can visualize what's been uh, what's been sampled. I'll show in a moment how we can control the color range. And once you have your colors selected, you can you know, feather the uh, the transition between colors, and then of course finally adjust hue, saturation, and luminance or lightness here. But yeah, you know, this is what uh, this is what we're really after with this with this tool is to be able to adjust hue, saturation, and luminance. But the surrounding parts of it give us some <laughs> incredible control over the range of colors you're going to affect. So uh, let's walk through selecting a color, and I'll show you all the different controls that are available, especially. In in that color wheel. There's quite a few of them. So to work with the edit color tool, I'll first sample a color. Choosing the picker here and let's choose kind of like I'll, I'll click above uh, this this eye here between the eyebrow and the eye, this brighter pink. So I'll choose that and you see a, a wedge shows up in the color wheel in the center of the tool. We can click the visualize icon and see okay these are the colors that have been selected by this wedge. My reference color, which is this little centerpiece right here, that's where I clicked on, on the scene. And then I have endpoints on either side of the wedge where I can change the breadth of the photo, or uh, the photo, the breadth of the colors, right? So now I'm affecting everything from that kind of, you know, somewhat brighter magenta tone all the way out to oranges and into the deeper, you know, magentas and almost purple. I think here I'll, I'll pull that back. And I want to point out when I'm hovering over these endpoints, notice that, you know, the, the icon's bouncing between a couple of different shapes. It's the little finger pointer. That's when you're selecting one of those endpoints to adjust the range. The double headed arrow we're going to come to now here. So first we're going to uh, adjust this so that I'm targeting our, these areas. That looks pretty good. Next, you'll notice the double-headed arrow shows up on the outer edge as well as in the center. I can pull in and out to further reduce exactly which tones are being affected. And here, think of this like adjusting saturation. Do you want to have you know, the, the, the full breadth of most saturated to least saturated colors impacted or do you want to limit it so that if you're going to do a saturation adjustment it's like oh, I already got things that are very saturated I don't need to saturate the most saturated colors already I can tone that down the, you know that's that's an amazing amount of control to get this particular portion of your color wheel as a selection that you're now going to adjust hue saturation or luminance one more thing, one more control to point out that original sample point. I can I can move that around too. It's like you know what I, I want to bias this more toward orange, and notice the selections change. I've got more 
orange selected up over here and less magenta or move that down here. And I'm biasing the selection to more of the magenta tones. So all of those things put together, and let's go ahead and broaden this so we can see a, see a bigger impact when we do the change on the photo. Let's do like that. I'll turn off the viewer. So we have all those things selected, and then we can say, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to change the hue, make things more red? You can see it, especially on the side of uh, this, uh, the, the face of this uh, mural. Um, do I want to make things more saturated? I'll push this really far. Do I want to make things brighter? You have all of those controls, but the key bit is being able to use this color wheel with, you know, a, it's a dense set of controls, but a powerful set of controls to adjust things and change the tones in your image exactly how you might want to. Let's, uh, let's look at this photo one more time and do another example where I might target uh, some brighter tones. And I want to show you that you can use masking tools along with this to target exactly in your photo what color and where you want to have it affected. Let's add a second edit color filter to the stack. Yes, we can add multiples because that's how effects works. We can add the filter many, many times to do different things. And uh, for density's case, we'll, we'll collapse those things down. Let's, um, let's pick uh, this, uh, this bluish tone down toward the bottom is like, you know, aqua turquoise. And the reason I'm selecting that, and I'll visualize it, is I don't mind this here, but this part at the bottom, it's a little brighter for me, and I don't want the eye drawn down to that blue. I want you to stay up here. And so what can I do with this blue region as I expand it around and, and change the breadth of it so that I can, I, can, I can darken things? So first off, I can take the blue deeper. So that's a little bit of a darker blue. And I can take the lightness, darkening it down some. And let's see about biasing things around. The way I'm, I'm working is once I've got a hold of this center point, I'm watching the photo. You know, I'm just seeing, I'm moving around and seeing what I'm affecting there. And so before the photo, let's turn off the visualize, before and after, you can see I'm darkening all the blues, right? Well, I don't want everything to be darkened like that. I just wanted that part down in the bottom. This is where your masking tools come in, right? So we'll turn that back on. We'll open up our masking tool area. And uh, this is a very simple mask. I can just use a gradient. So I'll use a gradient mask. I'll choose the gradient shape, drop it on the photo, rotate it this way. And if I view that mask, you can see I am uh, doing the exact opposite of what I want. I want to have, oh no, that's, that's, that's correct. I had that right. I want to apply the edit color to the bottom so that I am darkening these blues and these are remaining unaffected, right? So close out our masking and before, after, just a little bit of a nudge, right? Now I could have done that with, you know, a traditional gradient, lower the exposure, and I might even still do that. But here I'm able to target just those colors because, you know, there are some nice, you know, these softer pastel pinks. I mean, I like those. I mean, this is, this is a beautiful mural. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, you know, completely change the, uh, the, the entire look of it, but I just want to take that part away. So I'm not having your, uh, your eyes, uh, get pulled away from the centerpiece of this, uh, this artwork. So that is, uh, the edit color filter. Like I said, amazing level of control over your color ranges and couple that with masking. You've got uh, a really powerful filter where you can really fine tune adjustments to your color throughout your photo, where you need it and when you need it. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.